And I'm going to go ahead and do one quick video tonight because I feel like this is important for continuing on. So if you recall how we currently open our and close our inventory, we're doing that via blueprint with this setup here. Every time we press I, we pretty much open and close our widget. But we are going to change that up and we're going to do this just in C++. So let's yeah, just get to it. So go ahead and just for now I'm going to go ahead and detach the node so nothing happens when I press I. And everything crashed. Nice. Right, try again. Alright. Now I'm pressing I and nothing is happening. So let's go ahead and make an input for inventory. So new action mapping. I might call it inventory for the I key. Go ahead and save. And back in our survival character, we're going to go to our input components. And we're going to add a new input component for inventory. So this will be when it's pressed. Now let's create a function. Do it right under let's do it right under attempted jump. So void open close inventory. Let's create a definition. And change our Doomager to open to close inventory, so now it should be calling that function, which is right there. Alright. Now we're going to need a couple of things because we are going to be creating a widget. And in order to set that up, we need to make a couple of changes here. So if you go to your project name, build.cs, and scroll, but if you look over here, you'll see a list of included parameters. We need to include UMG, Slate, and Slate Core. Alright, you can close that save it and because we're going to need to get access to our widget our inventory base we're going to need constructor helpers so as well as the we're going to have to include our user widget so I'm just going to copy and paste these in like so and now we can get started alright so for doo -doo -doo, do this. I'm gonna do it right below. I'll do it right below inventory. So it's gonna be T sub class of class U user widget. Call this inventory widget class. Alright, now in our constructor, just do this right here. Static you constructor structor f construct I am not spelling this very well at all well it should be constructor helpers f class finder now the type is you user widget Call this um, inventory. Yeah, ref. Now this is where we put our reference to it, right here. So what we can do is we can go to our widget, right click, copy reference, and paste it in. Now get rid of the dot inventory base and the widget blueprint. So it looks like this. Now, if inventory ref dot class we do oops inventory widget class equals 
and Tori ref dot class. Alright, so we are good to go there. Now we can create that widget and add it to our viewport. I'm gonna go ahead and compile to make sure everything's good to go. Alright, and here's our function. I'm gonna actually print out a log as well. So I do know for sure that the function is running. Alright, we built just fine. Doing inventory stuff. Alright, so now we can actually create a variable here right below it. So class u user widget. And inventory widget. So this is our class and this is going to be our actual widget that we use to control it. So what we can do here is you uh what is it? No, inventory widget equals create widget. Now the type is you user widget. Now the parameters, first one's gonna be get world, and the second one is going to be R, and I do not have that copied still. Inventory widget class. So let's make sure it's valid, so if inventory widget we will add it to the viewport. So inventory widget add to viewport and with any luck it will appear. And with my luck the game's gonna crash again. Okay, now watch it crash. Called it. I don't know why it keeps doing that. And now it won't crash. Ta-da. Weird. Alright, press I. And as you can see, it opens. And we should have a log printed like three times because I spammed it. Yeah, doing inventory stuff, doing inventory stuff, and so on. You can ignore all these for now. It's just they're in our image, or a uh, blueprint. We are pretty much accessing invalid points in the inventory array. That makes sense. Alright, so we know we are able to access our inventory from C++. Now we can simply make it so it's toggleable, like it was in Blueprint. So what we can do here is we can check. So if inventory widget and inventory widget uh, visible in viewport is in viewport then if it is in the viewport we remove it otherwise we create it So the logic here is if inventory damn it, if the inventory widget is valid, meaning it's not a null pointer. So if it if this is a null pointer, for example, meaning it's false, this will never run, so it will not cause a crash. But if it is valid, then we can simply check if it's in the viewport. So this will allow us to do any checking beforehand to make sure it is valid before we check it's in the viewport, if that makes any sense. So that's why I'm doing it this way. So we're simply gonna remove it from the viewport. So inventory widget remove from viewport and we are set up there let's go ahead and build just to see if it opens and closes because this should handle the initial run because this should be false on the very first run all right open close open close we are good to go now we need to make it set our mouse cursor to pretty much show our mouse cursor as well as set our input mode. So after we add it to the viewport, we can go ahead and do that. So we actually need to get access to our player controller. So if a player controller p controller equals get controller k 
cast to player controller. That's where we do our functions. So P controller V show mouse cursor. Set that to true when we create it. And P controller input mode. Set input mode. You can see the type. So F input mode. F input mode. And you'll see these options here. The one we used in Blueprint was game and UI. So we're just going to run run it with the constructor settings and do the exact same thing where we remove our viewport. So we're going to set the mouse cursor to false and F input mode to game only. Now let's build and we should see our mouse cursor when our game is our, our inventory is open and we should no longer have it when our inventory is closed. So I, I have a mouse cursor. I can click and do all this kind of stuff. I press I again, and I no longer have it. So I'm going to grab this med kit, click it, click use. Our health goes up. Same thing with water. Drop it, and it's on the ground. So, yep, everything is going just fine there. So let's quick radiation on what we're doing. In the constructor, we are finding our inventory object here, wherever it went. And we are assigning our blueprint widget class variable to the class of what we found. And then whenever we press I, it calls our, I went too far, open close inventory function. So we're going to check and see if we do in fact have an inventory widget. So when we first run this on the very first time, this is going to be false, which means this is going to run. So it's going to create the widget and assign inventory widget to the widget. So it's going to have a, va a valid value. Then we do a simple check, make sure it is in fact still valid. If it is, we add it to our viewport, show our mouse cursor, and set our input mode to game and UI. Then when we close it, inventory widget will in fact be valid so that's going to be true and it is going to be in our viewport because it is showing so in that case we remove from the viewport do the same thing but just hide our mouse cursor and set our input mode to game only then on the second run when we press I again I mean on the third run sorry when we press I again it will be opening again so inventory widget will be f valid but is in viewport will return false because it is no longer in our viewport meaning this will run again. So that's how you simply open and close it. It's really quite simple. So now that we have that sorted out, we can continue with working on our chest. And I will see you then.